Welcome, welcome. My name is Myrna Throne and I'm a super success coach and trainer. What in the world does a life coach actually do? That is a common question I have heard over the years in the last 10 years I've been in this field. Well, it's actually a very good question. So I'm here to define it for you in three simple points. And yes, of course, there's many, you know, sub answers underneath it, but to keep it simple, this is what a life coach actually does. First of all, I'm going to ask you, do you like helping people? Think about that for a second. Think about that. A person in, that's already a life coach um, in this field have a resounding yes to that question. And if that's you, you are perfect to be in the life coaching industry. Especially if you have, you know, what ends, what ends up happening is people have, you know, 20 years in another career and that has ended, so to speak. And what they can do is meld the life coach skills and um, education with their general knowledge and experience of 20 years behind them and coach other individuals to reach the same goals as you have. Number two, we're the unbiased opinion. That is so crucial in the change process in the facilitation process and guiding somebody towards their goal. We do not coach our family and friends. That would be unethical for one. And two, it, you know, it kind of muddies the water uh, when you have to have um, that firm, supportive hand as a life coach with a personal relationship. And you don't want any hard feelings. You want to be able to do your job well too. And you're not actually being able to help them with their goal. You can be a supportive friend. But however, as a life coach um, client, you know, they just don't work. So number three, we're the voice of reason. Being the unbiased opinion, we can be that voice of reason to help you, you know, see those blocks, those um, stumbles in life that uh, have, have kept you from reaching your goal already. Because if you could do it on your own, you would have done it by now. And it doesn't mean you're weak. At all, it means you're strong when you're asking for help because you desire that goal. That's what a life coach does that helps you towards that goal with the voice of reason, the unbiased opinion, the tools, the skills, the process of healing, of helping somebody get to their goal. They can see the path for you. They can see what's in the way. They can see what you need to do before you get to that goal. So. That's your three points to remember becoming a life coach. But first of all, ask yourself, do you like helping people? And if you're scared, this is one thing, another question that um, I swear every student I've ever had um, has asked the same question and they don't ask it right away, but everybody thinks it is, who am I to become a life coach? Am I good enough to become a life coach? And I have an article on my website that you can read about that as well. But don't let that stop you because we are going to teach you how to do that very thing with a very solid, strong foundation of skills, teaching you the process, teaching you the professional act of listening that helps somebody reach a goal. And you know, in the end, we're all working towards a greater good. And that is an immense feeling that I cannot describe. It feels wonderful. It feels great when you actually can help somebody in a professional manner reach what they're looking for. So that's it for now. Again, my name is Myrna Throne, and it's been a pleasure talking with you. Bye-bye.